Hey everyone, you know after billions of years of creation and destruction, creation and destruction by various geological and organic processes, the surface of our planet is an ever-changing world. From icy landscapes to vast mountain regions and lush jungles, it's time to take a tour around the world. We're going to take a look at 15 of the most unbelievable natural wonders. Number 15. Waitomo Glowworm Caves, New Zealand New Zealand is home to some of the most wondrous sights anywhere on Earth, but even in such a beautiful country, there's a truly magical place, the Waitomo Glowworm Caves. The cave network is home to the Arachnocampa luminosa, a species of glowworm that can only be found there. The Waitomo region has more than 300 natural limestone caves, each of which formed over the last 30 million years. Having once been underwater, the rock is made from compressed biomatter that, when it was forced above water, began to erode away and leave open caverns. They are full of stalagmites and stalactites and a number of different species including albino cave ants, giant crickets, and long fin eels, but it's the huge population of glowworms that make it so special. When fully grown, they're about the same size as a mosquito. They aren't actually worms, though, but fly larvae that produce a blue-green bioluminescence, which is a trait that they've developed to help them catch food. The light tricks other animals into thinking they're outside on a starry night, and then they fly up into the sky, where they hit the ceiling, get trapped in the sticky thread that the larvae weave, and remain there until they're eaten. The side effect of this hunting method is that they illuminate the limestone structures within the caves, and one place in particular, called the Glowworm Grotto, has an entire ceiling of living lights. These caves have been a visitor attraction since 1889, offering boat trips and guided tours to see the spectacular views. The acoustics here are great too, so singers and choirs have performed in an opening called the Cathedral, with a backdrop you won't find anywhere else. Number 14. The Xilin Stone Forest, China In the Yunnan province of China, around 56 miles from the city of Kunming, there's a rock formation that's only one of its kind in the world. Known as the Xilin Stone Forest, it's a 150-square-mile region that's covered in limestone pillars that are such unusual shapes that it looks just like a petrified forest. But these monuments were never actually trees, and the result of a rare geological process that has eroded away the sediment left by a lake that was present there hundreds of millions of years ago. These formations are believed to be at least 270 million years old, and are so unusual that they become a very popular tourist attraction. Almost looking like stalagmites, there's a perfect view and photo opportunity in virtually any direction that you look. This region's been classified as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, but has played an important role for nearby communities for far longer. According to local beliefs, the stone forest was where Ashima, a member of the Yi people, was born. She fell in love with a suitor, but was forbidden from marrying him. In her misery, she turned to a pillar of stone, and the others who came to visit her also suffered from the same fate. Today, the Torch Festival is held every year in honor of her, where people come from across the entire region to celebrate and watch traditional dances and wrestling competitions. Number 3. Island Lava Tubes, South Korea Off the southern coast of Korea, about 80 miles from the mainland, there's a volcanic island called Jeju, which has some of the most impressive geological features in the world. The island is home to the Korean Peninsula's largest mountain, called Halasan, which is also a dormant volcano. It's surrounded by a further 360 satellite volcanoes and is last believed to have erupted around 5,000 years ago. The scars of activity can still be seen across this island, and one of the most popular sites for tourists are the lava tubes. These are the natural roots that molten rock used to flow through the landscape, and the rock at the periphery solidified to create these hollow tunnels. Now empty and safe to walk through, they're some of the largest examples of these anywhere in the world, and draw countless visitors each year who want the opportunity to walk through them themselves. Because there are so many, this has also become a vital place for researchers to more fully understand the processes that happened around volcanic activity, and potentially even help predict when future eruptions may take place. Number 11. Caño Cristales, Colombia Colombia's Caño Cristales, or the Crystal Channel, is often referred to as the Liquid Rainbow. It's a river like no other in the world, and until the 2000s, it was completely inaccessible because of guerrilla activity in the region. Now, though, the Colombian military has now secured the nearby town of La Macarena, which has opened up the tourism industry for those wanting to be enraptured by the spectacular sight. The reason this place feels so special and mysterious is not, as you may have initially thought, an algae or moss, but an aquatic plant called Macarenia clavigera, 
To grow, this plant needs very precise conditions, such as the perfect water level and amount of sunlight. When it receives these, it blooms in a wide range of vibrant colors and gives the river its stunning hues. The plants are most commonly red colors, such as pinks and maroons, but they can also be blue, yellow, orange, or bright green. As you can imagine, the locals who live nearby have for centuries held superstitions about the river and take great pride in it. Recently, the effects of tourism has now been found to be devastating for the delicate flowers. Environmental impact rules have now been brought in that limit the daily number of visitors to about 200, and they're strictly kept away from disturbing the plants. They aren't allowed to enter the waters while wearing insect repellent or sunscreen, and cannot leave any garbage anywhere nearby. Number 10. Perito Moreno Glacier, Patagonia Patagonia, it's the region at the southerly tip of South America, and it's part of Argentina and Chile. It's one of the closest mainland places on Earth to Antarctica, and is covered by snow and ice, meaning it's one of the most easily accessible frozen tundras anywhere on Earth. On the Argentinian side of Patagonia, you'll find the Perito Moreno Glacier, which is one of the most important tourist sites in the whole of the region. It's named after an Argentinian explorer who was instrumental in mapping the region. It's 19 miles long, covers an area of 97 square miles, and it's up to 558 feet thick. This glacier is fed by the Southern Patagonian Ice Field, which itself is the third largest store of fresh water on the planet, and it's able to continuously replenish the ice that it's lost from the 48 surrounding glaciers, meaning they are some of the only ones in the world that aren't currently retreating as a result of climate change. It ends in the Argentino Lake, and it's there that, on occasion, you might be fortunate enough to witness a rupture event when the front face of the glacier collapses into the water. These don't happen very often, though, every several years or so, but are one of the most incredible sights in the natural world, partly because of the chance of seeing a rupture, and also because the glacier and its surroundings are so beautiful. There's now an international airport in the nearest town, and a tourist center on the glacier itself, and regular tours and walks to take visitors to the best vantage points. Number 9. Devil's Tower, Wyoming Between 225 and 195 million years ago, northeastern Wyoming was covered in a shallow sea, and most of the unusual geological features in the region date back to that time. The one that stands out the most is called the Devil's Tower, which is a 1,267-foot-tall igneous rock formation that rises above the Belfort River. It's believed to be the remnants of a huge volcano that once stood there, something that's supported by the discovery of volcanic material elsewhere in the state that has the same chemical composition as the tower. Due to the relatively flat surrounding terrain, you can see it from miles away, and it was actually the first official national monument of the United States, having been designated as such in 1906 by President Roosevelt. For a long time, it's been a central feature of Native American culture, where they tell various stories that explain its origin, and in the late 19th century, it was a base for fur trappers, as it was an easily identifiable waypoint in the area. If you think you recognize it but have never been to Wyoming, it's probably because the structure is so picturesque that it's been used as a setting for several blockbuster movies, most notably Close Encounters of the Third Kind in 1977 where it was used as a location for the final sequences of the film. As a result, visitor numbers increased dramatically, and still to this day, more than 400,000 people a year make the trip. Number 8. Mount Roraima, Venezuela, Brazil, Guyana Mountains have often become a focal point of civilizations throughout history, whether it be because of the belief that they are the homes of the gods, or simply because they're such visible parts of the surrounding landscape. But there's one on the border between Brazil, Guyana, and Venezuela in South America that continues to be somewhat of a mystery. Known as Mount Roraima, it's the tallest in the Pacaraima mountain range, and is a tepui, or tabletop mountain. Reaching a maximum elevation of 9,200 feet, what's unusual about the mountain is that it's surrounded on all sides by near-vertical cliffs that are at least 1,300 feet high. And at the top is a summit area of more than 12 square miles. Mount Roraima has become known as the Lost World because how separated it is, and it's home to several plant and animal species that aren't found anywhere else. There are, however, a couple of routes that can be used to reach the summit, and it's become a quite popular tourist activity. This has proved controversial, though, because Mount Roraima has long formed a central part of local beliefs. For the Pemon and Kapon people, who have lived in the region for thousands of years, Mount Roraima is part of the creation legend. It's believed to be the stump of a once almighty tree that grew every fruit and vegetable on the planet, but was felled by Makunaima, a trickster god, and caused an almighty flood that spread the produce and seeds around the world. Number 7. Mariana Trench, Pacific Ocean 
Around 124 miles to the east of the Mariana Islands in the Pacific Ocean is the 1,580-mile-long Mariana Trench, which is home to two of the three deepest oceanic places on Earth. It's shaped like a crescent, and it's on the border of the Pacific Plate and the Mariana Plate, where the ancient Pacific Plate, which at its edge is an estimated 170 million years old, and is being thrust beneath the much younger Mariana Plate. This process has formed the trench and the nearby volcanic islands, and has created something that's so deep that if you put Mount Everest into it, there'd still be more than a mile of water above its peak. The third deepest place in the Earth's oceans is called the Serena Deep, and was only discovered in 1997 to descend 35,151 feet beneath the surface of the ocean. But the deepest point of all is called Challenger Deep, which is a small valley in the floor that's 6.825 miles deep. Several expeditions have managed to see manned submersibles reach the bottom, most recently the Five Deeps expedition in 2019, which is an extraordinary feat, considering how inhospitable it is. At such depths as these, the water pressure is more than 1,000 times that of the surface, which means that the water's density is actually increased by almost 5%. Temperatures in the Challenger Deep have been measured at 34 and 39 degrees Fahrenheit, or 1 to 4 degrees Celsius, which makes it all the more surprising that simple life forms have been thriving down there. The Mariana Trench is seen as such an important geographical feature that a large part of it has been designated as a marine national monument by the United States to protect the land and water inside it. But bizarrely, the boundary of this monument ends just before Challenger Deep, which sits outside of it. Number 6. Seljalandsfoss Waterfall, Iceland When talking about waterfalls, the focus is often on the tallest, or the ones where the most water passes over it, but this doesn't necessarily equate with beauty. Often referred to as the most stunning waterfall in the world, Seljalandsfoss can be found in the south region of Iceland. It's a feature of the Seljans River, which itself originates within a nearby volcanic glacier called Eyjafjallajökull. The crystal clear water flows through the pristine and undisturbed landscape and cascades over the Seljalandsfoss before falling 197 feet to the lake below. It's a popular tourist site, and while there's a road that leads there, it's not exactly the easiest of routes to travel. The effort is worth it, though, because you won't see a natural landmark like this anywhere else in the world. To make things even more impressive, there's a cave behind the waterfall that's accessible, and this grants a spectacular view through the waterfall and to the world beyond. In an effort to commercialize the scenery surrounding the waterfall, there were plans to build a huge curry house next to it to provide visitors a warm place to get some food. Fortunately, though, after widespread condemnation of the plan because of how it would affect the view, permission wasn't granted, and the region remains unblighted by human development, which I hope it does for a very long time. Number 5. Salar de Uyuni, Bolivia Salt flats can be seen on almost every continent, but by far the biggest in the world is the Salar de Uyuni, which is in the southwest region of Bolivia. It's a strange place that was once covered by a number of prehistoric lakes. The water eroded the bed to flatten it, and as the water evaporated, the salt it contained was left behind. The result was a 3,900 square mile area that's almost perfectly flat, and it's covered by a crust of salt that's up to 10 feet thick. Amazingly, the region is so flat that there's less than a three-foot differential across the entire area. It is almost like an alien landscape, which is why it's been used as a location in various sci-fi movies. But there's more to it than just the flat, salty ground. When it rains, for example, Salar de Uyuni essentially becomes the world's largest mirror at 80 miles across because of a thin layer of water that's retained on the surface. The flatness, the vastness, and the clear skies above because it's at an altitude of 11,995 feet above sea level also means that the region is the ideal place to calibrate satellites that orbit around the Earth. Of course, it's also been a great source of materials for locals. It's not only used as a source of salt, but for lithium too, which forms beneath the crust and is becoming increasingly valuable as a core component of battery technologies. Number 4. Fairy Chimneys, Turkey the unique geography of the Cappadocia region of Turkey has led to the development of several unusual natural and man-made structures. But despite there being underground cities that were carved from the limestone rock, arguably the most incredible sight to see are the fairy chimneys. Their strange shape and designs have puzzled travelers through the region for centuries, who couldn't conceive that they were naturally formed. Instead, they told stories of the benevolent fairies that lived underneath them that blessed those that journeyed past, or were perhaps the complete opposite and were in fact the domain of demons. The truth, while not as magical, is equally as impressive, however. 
Between three and nine million years ago, this was a region of intense volcanic activity. At first, ash would be deposited, followed by layers of lava that would eventually cool down. And then, in subsequent eruptions, the process would be repeated. Millennia of erosion from rainwater has worn away the weaker deposits and left the structures that we see today. There is a more unpleasant side to these fairy chimneys, which had the original settlers of the towns in the area known about when they moved there in the first place, they would have probably stayed well clear. The volcanic material that they dug and carved through contained a mineral called aerionite, which when inhaled, even in small amounts, can lead to mesothelioma in a similar way to asbestos. More than 50% of deaths in three local villages have been attributed to this, and it's the reason why visitors were advised to only take in the sites for a short period of time. Number 3. The Cave of the Crystals, Chihuahua, Mexico In April of 2000, two brothers were drilling a mine in Chihuahua, Mexico, when they came across one of the most unbelievable caves in the world. It's known as the Giant Crystal Cave. It's full of giant gypsum crystals, the largest of which was 39 feet long, 13 feet wide, and with an approximate weight of 55 tons. The cave is nearly a thousand feet below the surface, and it's connected to the Nica mine that produces lead, zinc, and silver. While other areas of gypsum crystals have been found, none are anywhere near the size of this particular cave, and that's because of the ideal conditions that are present there. The crystals have been forming for millions of years without interruption, a process that started because the cave was filled with water that had been pushed up by magma from beneath and contained high concentrations of a mineral called anhydrite. At high temperatures, this anhydrite remained suspended in water, but as things began to cool slightly, it started to collect together and form crystals. The way they formed underwater and at relatively high temperatures meant that the crystals were able to grow much larger than would otherwise been the case. After finding the cave, the mining company drained all of the water before they realized what was in there, and it soon became clear how dangerous a place it was. The temperature in there is 113 degrees Fahrenheit or 45 degrees Celsius, and the humidity levels are 100%, which can be fatal. Miners were limited to just 10 minutes in the cave at the time, but the development of special cooling suits enabled visits of up to an hour. Researchers took every opportunity they could to take samples, with some retrieving evidence of tiny organisms that had been there for at least 50,000 years. The removal of the water from the cave stopped the crystals from growing any further, though, and amidst signs they were losing their structural integrity because of their exposure to air, the decision was made to stop pumping water out. It's now believed that the cave is completely flooded again, and the crystals are growing once more. Number 2. The Eye of the Sahara, Mauritania the Rishat structure, which is often referred to as the Eye of the Sahara, is an incredible circular formation in the Sahara Desert in Mauritania. It's an upside-down dome that's 25 miles in diameter and reveals various layers of rock and sediment that are seen as concentric rings of varying colors. Amazingly, it was only very recently that the extent of this place was truly known, because it's so vast that from ground level you can hardly even tell that you're inside it, apart from the fact that there are large ridges in the ground. When seen from above, however, it becomes clear that something unusual is going on here. The inner ring, for example, is about two miles from the center of the structure, and itself is 65 feet wide, while the outer ring is five miles from the center and is at least 160 feet wide. The leading theory about how it developed is that when the supercontinent Pangaea began to break apart 100 million years ago, molten rock was pushed up towards the surface but didn't manage to breach all the way through. It created a series of rock layers and dissolved the limestone near the center, which caused a depression. There are those who believe that this is where the mythological city of Atlantis stood, thanks to the discovery of archaeological artifacts that date back hundreds of thousands of years. But as things stand right now, there's no definitive evidence to support that theory. Number 1. Antelope Canyon, Arizona Arizona is known for having some of the most stunning natural landscapes in the world, but while most people may focus on the Grand Canyon because of its incredible size, there are other canyons in the state that are arguably more stunning. Antelope Canyon, for example, is the name given to two slot canyons that are near to the city of Page and are in the Navajo Nation. There's the Upper Antelope Canyon and the Lower Antelope Canyon, which were both formed by the erosion of the natural sandstone over millions of years. Due to the way canyons were carved into the rock, you can see the different layers of sediment within the walls, and there's something magical about walking through with an occasional beam of sunlight illuminating the colors of the bedrock. To respect the landowners, Antelope Canyon has only been accessible since 1997, and you can only go there as part of a prearranged guided tour. 
Since then, it's become incredibly popular, along with a couple of other nearby slot canyons, and has surprisingly become a challenge for photographers. While you may see stunning images of the canyon, these are far from easy to capture because of the way the light reflects off the walls. It requires an unusually wide exposure range, which is usually only possible with professional equipment, and definitely not with smartphones. I'll see you next time. Watch our nature playlist for more top 15 videos about beautiful nature. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best nature videos.